Great Falls resident and his dog had a recent encounter with an illegally placed trap and that raised some questions with where it was placed. MTN's Asher Line has more. This here is Leo, a two-year-old Border Collie and Blue Healer mix, and over the weekend something happened to him that have a lot of people asking questions about Great Falls and the surrounding area and what people can and can't do. Tony Bynum likes to walk his dogs along the north shore of the Missouri River in Giant Springs State Park, but one recent walk just outside the park has left him concerned. My dogs and I occasionally walk over here on the north side of the Giant Spring State Park and we were just up along where the power lines are and all of a sudden Leo started yelping. So I just ran back over there and I got right next to him and realized that he had his paw was in a, in a coyote trap. And my first instinct of course was to get him out. But as I sort of knelt down to open the trap and let his foot out, he bit me on the hand and then on the arm pretty bad and he was really scared. Leo is okay now, but the situation has raised some eyebrows on trapping in the area and what you can and can't do. The traps were found on private land where the owners do not allow trapping, making it illegal. But if you do get permission, you can do it safely. Me personally as a dog owner, I, I keep close tabs on where my dog is. And if I know there's trapping going on, I'm extra cautious with that. If it's on private land, when you ask permission from the landowner to gain access, I've asked that when I've gone on to hunt. Again, with my own dog, I've asked, is, are there any traps out? Is anybody trapping? Bynum plans to continue to walk his dogs as usual and wants to give trappers the benefit of the doubt because the traps are made for coyotes and not pets. Trappers do this. I mean, they're not trying to hurt people or their pets. I'm not against trapping, but I think we're getting a little close to town and, you know, I think it's time to kind of revisit some of this trapping activity that's so close to town. FWP says trapping is not allowed in Giant Springs to ensure visitor and pet safety and that it is important to stay up to date on regulations on what you can and can do. They also require you to keep your pets leashed while within park boundaries. In Gray Falls, Asher Lined, MTN News.